Boom! What's going on, everyone? DCP offers you a chance to play an active part in transporting heavy cargo with their issue of their Peterbilt 389 heavy haul tractor. A 164 scale die-cast model vehicle that combines the Peterbilt 389 with a Fontaine Lowboy trailer. Hi, I'm Logan, the 64 of the Gear Jammer Skill, back with another episode of Toy Talk. Today's episode covers a trailer that I haven't talked about in quite a while, and another beautiful Pete 389 working show truck. Go on and get one of these beautiful bottles with the link down below while extremely limited supplies last. As you already know, Peterbilt was founded on the West Coast in 1939. The model 389 Peterbilt was introduced in 2006. Built by Peterbilt, the model 389 was developed as a model to replace the previous model, 379. For more info on Peterbilt, see my other Pete video with the link down below. The Peterbilt 389 was designed with the latest technology available at the time. It gained its popularity by incorporating a classical design that includes modern creature comforts. I might say the body design set the Pete 389 a cut above the other new entries by Peterbilt's competitors. Of course, you know, tractors are designed to pull all types of trailers in the transportation of goods. One of these trailers is the low boy, which is used to carry heavy objects. The Magnitude is a three-axle lowboy trailer from Fontaine, a well-known manufacturer in the United States. Fontaine Truck Equipment Company was founded in Birmingham, Alabama by John P.K. Fontaine in 1940 to produce trailers for the federal government. Over the next eight years, Fontaine evolved from a government contractor to a manufacturer of platform trailers, heavy specialty trailers, and fifth wheels for commercial use. Today, Fontaine produces some of the finest heavy haul trailers on the market. Now, let's go on over to the rock quarry and look at the DCP by First Gear 389 Pete with Fontaine three axle magnitude low boy trailer. And this is the Peterbilt 389 Heavy Haul Tractor with Fontaine Magnitude Lowboy for Capello Heavy Transport. It is DCP by First Gear, comes in the standard box with the two-piece blister and the mural in the back. Its item number is 60-1119 and it's a licensed by Packard for Peterbilt and Fontaine and Magnitude are licensed from the Fontaine Trailer Company. It's a die cast metal model and it's for ages 14 and up. And there it is out of the box. Isn't that sharp? Black and light blue, really, really striking colors. Now let's start off with the tractor. This is their Peterbilt 389 tooling. It has the 36 inch bunk and then they put the cabinet rack headache rack on it. You see it's chrome plated and then it has black trim. Now what would have been nice is if they had shortened up this deck plate and set the cabinet rack down on the frame so that it would be level with the top of the sleeper instead of sticking up above it. That doesn't exactly look right but that's what DCP did. It has lots of little pinstriping details like here on the fuel tank which is black with chrome bands and then some light blue pinstriping. Pinstriping here on the door and there's the American flag. It also has a little vent door that's painted silver on the trim around the sleeper door is also painted silver as is the door handle and on the window and cab door. Door handle is also painted silver. It has Capello, Shrewsbury Mass. It has a ribbon here more pinstriping, truck number of 80. This has what uh, Peterbilt likes to do is they put a little chrome piece that goes around the logo and an angle there. 
well, it's not really chrome on this one. It's just painted silver. Plenty of pinstriping here, here. Heavy transport on the side of the hood. And look at that nice light blue color up there. It rides on plain old uh, 10 hole chrome wheels, front and rear, and it has soft rubber tires. On the back, it has the triple hump fenders, the sheet metal ones, that are painted blue with a black trim. Up on top, you can see it has the multiple roof light option, which puts roof lights all the way across the cab. It has a chrome mule-eared stacks, which will look really sharp. Around on the front, it has individual jewel style headlights in the 389 arrow style pods. A little bit of pinstriping on the front of the fenders behind them. Texas drop bumper, nice chrome grill with Peterbilt logo. Also has a real nice chrome drop visor. Looks really, really sharp. Over on the passenger side, very much the same details as the driver's side. Looks really good. Chrome steps, fuel tank, everything is very much the same. Around to the back, it has the low brake lights on this little bumper piece, which is chrome plated. Then you can see how the fenders come around with a little mud flap hanging each, and then the pin striping. Tipped up a bit, you can see it has the solid deck plate, fifth wheel that pivots a little, and then more pin striping. Now that pin striping is a decal. It also has leader of the band tampoed right up at the top of the cabinet racks, which you can see are chrome plated. You can see the mirror reflection of the uh, airlines here on the pogo stick. This truck is amazing. It also has positionable front steering, not true steering. Under the hood, nice big orange diesel engine. And the hood does tilt really, really sharp with all the turbo t piping and everything. Now let's set this aside and look at the trailer. This is the Fontaine Magnitude Low Boy. It is a front detached style. It has the outriggers, as you can see, the one that flipped open. They all do flip open, but they can be a pain. So I kind of leave them closed up unless I'm going to put a deck plate on them. It has DOT striping down the side. Rides on two hole this time. These are two hole chrome rear wheels with low profile tires. Low boys typically run a lower profile tire so that you can drive over top of it. These two bars are strong enough for equipment to sit on. Really cool. It has its warnings here and its instructions all over it. DOT striping, marker lights. You can see those chrome two hole wheels look a little bit different than usual. See how the uh, plate comes out. They all come out if you really want them to. I kind of like them to stay in. It has the wood decking and you notice the neck just came off. These necks are pretty easy. They just drop over top like that, pull up, and then clip in place. So they come on and off pretty easily, but they're also pretty rigid when they stay on there. It's got the blue paint right there up on the neck and it says Capella. And then it has always its instructions and warnings that Fontaine put on there. Really nice. Then it has the upper detail of how these things actually come apart. Engine and other parts to run them. On the front, it has right here more warnings. And then it has the two pieces here. Now when this sets down, take that off and I'll show you. They just sit down and you, they just sit down like that and you just drive right up on it. Some of them have flip out, some trailers had a flip out ramp, but this one does not. Just drive right up on it. Clip it back together. Clip it back together. They're actually easy to unclip, so be careful with them. On the back of this trailer, it has brake lights and then the amber turn signals, marker lights and mud flaps. It has the pinholes here where you could put a flip axle or you could mount on an extender and an extended axle, like a swing wing or something, if you really wanted to. Underneath, 
it has air brake canisters on each axle and working rear suspension on all three axles. Lots of nice detail underneath on the deck and underneath on the goose. The kingpin is for DCP and first gear or any trucks that have straight kingpins like Advantage Diecast or Neo scale models. They will hook up just fine. Now let's go on and hook this truck up. Isn't that sharp? That's the Peterbilt 389 triaxle heavy haul with Fontaine Magnitude Low Boy for Capello Heavy Transport. And to show off what a heavy transport can do, let's go on and put something on the deck like this old this very old international 640 excavator that is a very old Ertl piece right there and it is in 64 scale and it matches right up with that truck and trailer isn't that really sharp capello Heavy Transport Peterbilt 389 with Fontaine Magnitude Low Boy hauling an Ertl International 640 Excavator. All in 164 scale and die cast metal. Truck and trailer is DCP by First Gear. Peterbilt 389 is the last classic conventional on the market and looks amazing while pulling a Low Boy trailer. Capello Heavy Transport is based in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, specializing in heavy equipment moving. Capello uses a three-axle P389 to haul a magnitude low boy trailer. DCP did an amazing job replicating this truck in 64th scale, and while extremely limited supplies last, they were sold out before the run was made, get one of these beautiful models with the link down below. Please go on and smash that like button, share this video, drop your comments, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back soon with more great diecast replica reviews and other content. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeeler.